What's up guys, how's it going? It's John, Gamester81. I am back and excited to share with you guys a new book that recently came out, really focusing on the classic Nintendo Game & Watch collection. I'm a huge fan of this, this line of, of handhelds, for those who don't know. It was a handheld collection that Nintendo released uh, basically from 1980 through the early 90s, I believe 1991. A uh, handful of different models came out. If it wasn't for the success of the Nintendo Game & Watch line, I believe we probably wouldn't see the original Game Boy. We certainly wouldn't see the 3DS today. So this is this particular line was like the grandfather of the 3DS, so to speak. Uh, but anyway, I want to say a big thank you to David, who reached out to me. He's, he's in Austria. And he said, John, you know, I'm working on this book. It's a Game & Watch collection. Everything you see in this book, him and his partner actually did uh, this book and actually own all the pictures. So all the items you see in the pictures are actually theirs, which is incredible. So this is definitely um, a, a work from, from their heart. It's a work that they've uh, worked on from sure quite a while. Uh, right here on my right to your left is the hardcover uh, version of it, which is limited to 500 copies. It's in English. Um, they also have a soft copy version, which is unlimited. I'll put a link with more information below to check out. So now what I'm doing is show you a closer look at the book. These are basically the same. You can see the cover is a little bit different, uh, but even the subtle, subtle things, like check this out, look at the, the back. It's a Game & Watch guy. How cool is that? Very subtle uh, things they've actually added to here. So, the build quality is awesome. The website is gameandwatch.at, uh, which I'm sure is like the .com in Austria. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, uh, let's take a closer look and let me know what you guys think. Before I show you the book and open it up and kind of show you the pages, uh, I wanted to show you the other things I got with, along with it. Got this quick guide, really nicely laid out guide, kind of shows you all the ones that were re released. Over 50 total were released in the span of the Game & Watch lifetime. They sold over 43 million units, so very successful for Nintendo. You can see the different styles. It tells you uh, which page to go to, which is a very handy dandy guide. Also got this little piece of paper here along with it. And a certificate uh, mentioning this is the unofficial Game & Watch Collector's Guide. This is, I got 425 out of 50, so they're all individually numbers numbered, which is awesome. And yeah, let's see, it looks like a bookmark, which is sweet, okay? So now let's open this up. A little introductory of who, who the guys are, uh, Gerard and David. And again, I want to thank them for, for providing me a copy of this book. It's pretty sweet, really sweet. Uh, nice detailed introduction. Um, you can see they just put a ton. Here's the contents. Tells you again which pages to go to. Talks about the, how was the history of it all. So Gunpei Yokoi, um, he actually passed away in 1997. He was one of the early people with Nintendo. I want to say he passed away in some kind of freak car accident. I'm not quite sure, but he he was part really integral in not only the Game and Watch, but he he started. Uh, he was part of the Super Scope Six. He did uh, the Virtual Boy, which many of us know, of course. He was a big part of the original Game Boy, um, and he even did the Wonder Swan for for Bandai when that came out. So that's interesting. It kind of talks about the timeline very at the very bottom here. Some fun facts. So there's different series of, of game watches, right? So you have the silver series and kind of goes through each one. A lot of these are very, very highly collectible uh, today. There's Ball, which is the very first one. And I believe they actually, Nintendo re-released this several years ago uh, through their Nintendo Club um, and actually have one of those. But that was the very first one. And it has, this is kind of Mr. Game & Watch as the character, the mascot. A lot of these games were re-released later uh, through the Game & Watch collection for the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, they had a whole bunch of the series, Flagman, Vermin. And the reason they call them Game & Watch is because there was a clock and they run off of watch batteries so they wouldn't really turn off necessarily, but you'd play it to go and you can keep time and obviously play a game, all LCD. Tiger Electronics later on came out with their own LCD handhelds uh, back in the 90s, which were very popular as well. But these definitely predated that. So here's the Gold series. The button layout, manhole. There were several exclusive Mario games that were never ported really. There was like Mario Cement Factory, which was never really an official game outside of the Game & Watch series. Widescreen series, a little bit bigger screen. Parachute, there's Mr. Game & Watch there. Octopus, which is a really fun one. Popeye. Um, Mimoto, uh, I've heard, is a big fan of Popeye. The series and when Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong came out, it was supposed to be Popeye. Later on, Nintendo released their own, obviously, Popeye arcade game and it was ported to the NES and, and Famicom. 
Mickey Mouse, it talks about how common it is, how rare it is. Uh, mint, you know, um, loose, how hard it's hard to find. This is extremely rare. This is a 19 out of 20, extremely rare uh, mint. So really the egg. Again, really like the details here. Price development. Fire. Turtle bridge. Kind of skipping along here because there's a lot of pages. These are like the dual screen ones. Uh, these were obviously look very similar to the DS. You can see where the DS got its inspiration, but this is Donkey Kong. It plays very different than uh, Donkey Kong in the arcade or any other ones. Mickey and Donald. Donkey Kong 2. Not to be confused with Donkey Kong Jr. Again, a unique game. Here's Mario Brothers. This one kind of folded up a little differently. Battery life on these things are really, really good. Pinball, Blackjack, which actually have a Blackjack, Safe Busters. You even got the picture of like the box art, history about the game. I mean, extremely detailed. New widescreen series. Donkey Kong Jr., there you go. Mario Cement Factory, it's one of the first game watches I ever owned was this one. <clears throat> I probably have maybe 10 game watches in my collection, but they're very sought after, highly collectible. Balloon Fight, Here, Tabletop Series, these are really cool. Uh, Popeye, uh, Snoopy, Donkey Kong Jr., Mario Cement Factory. Very cool, and I, I want to say that Coleco actually released a Duck Hung Jr. as well. Uh, they kind of co-branded it. There was two different versions, but these were very similar to like the Coleco uh, tabletops that they had. So Coleco did like Donkey Kong, and they did other ones, um, Pac-Man, Galaga. But Nintendo kind of went into the realm as well. Very collectible. These are a little bit different. They're more color, which is awesome. Duck Hung Jr. widescreen. There's a mirror reflection. Super, super cool. Mario Cement Factory. Oh, I would love one of those. Those are sweet. Additional versions, Snoopy, Popeye, Donkey Kong Jr., Mario Bombs Away, super cool series, so these are more like almost a longer, more uh, vertical version or horizontal. These you don't see very often, at least I don't see very often. Uh, these are cool, like the Versus ones are cool. Donkey Kong 3, there was like a punch out one as well, and there's little mini controllers that folds open. Really ingenious by Nintendo, I think, to do that. Donkey Kong Hockey, which is random, but <laughs> yeah, Donkey Kong Hockey. I had Punch-Out growing up. Uh, Crystal Screen series. So many different series. Special Edition series. This is, ball. This is what I was talking about before. It came out in 2009. They re-released it. Game Watch World. There is a Coleco one I was talking about, the Donkey Kong Jr. See the different... And let's talk about the Game Game Boy. I was talking about this before. So the different Game Boy ports of each game. And they each have about four or five games in each one. Uh, they did very well for the series. So Game Boy Color. Really cool that Nintendo never really gave this up. And I want to say, I'm not a huge, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge Smash player, Smash Brothers player. I appreciate the series, I just don't play it much. But I want to say Mr. Game & Watch it's actually was a, uh, one of the games he was a playable character. Um, he makes an appearance anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> a 3DS eShop e uh, e mini classics. These are like keychain ones that came out. Kind of remakes of the original ones. I remember watches. I don't know if Nintendo made them, but I had like a Zelda watch and stuff. I think that was actually a third party company that did those. The e reader. Do you remember the e readers? Those are for the, the Game Boy Advance series, Game Boy Camera, DS, uh, DS TV tuner. Cameos, different ones. Oh yeah, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, yep, made it melee, made an appearance. I was correct. Pikmin made an appearance. Game and Wario, mm -hmm. Nintendo Land. A lot of different cameos. Super Mario Brothers or Smash Brothers Brawl as well. So you guys can definitely get the idea. Solar keychains. Those are cool. The keychain ones are awesome. Dioramas, man, just different collectibles. Again, these are all items that these two guys have in their collection. It's pretty incredible. Dave was telling me he has hundreds of systems and collections, thousands of games, TV spots, competitors. Uh, yep, Konami. I have that Simpsons one, actually, yep. 
pretty sweet. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any Game & Watches? Please leave a comment below. Thank you for liking this video. As of course, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on.